The good old canning jar. Not just for canning anymore. Sure, they work great for holding tomato sauce and pickles. They're also great for organizing things or decorating for a party. I checked in with our thrifty crafter for some great ideas. Check out Pinterest. Check out crafting blogs, food blogs, Facebook, and you're going to find all sorts of things that you can do with jars. Well, instead of just looking them at them online, we're doing them in person with our thrifty crafter, Kim Geyser. And let's talk about some of the things that you've done here. This is your craft room, right? So easy to organize your craft room on canning jars. And how cute is that? I did it with sequins and buttons and beads. Little, those Anything. little tiny pom poms. Yep. But you put your shells in there. That's so cute. This is my favorite. Did you just drill a hole? For your yep. yarn? I just used an awl and punched a hole right in the middle, and then you put your yarn in there and... It's contained! Cats can't get it. Yes. And look at this. Oh, here she did do the, the buttons, but this is a little sewing kit in a jar. That'd be a great party favor or a gift for somebody? Perfect, yes. Okay, so that's the show and tell. Now we're going to do the do, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. what are you creating for us um, today? Well, there is this fabulous ink that you can stamp on glass. With. And it doesn't wipe off? And it doesn't wipe off. You can you can do whatever you want to that and really? it's not going to wipe called, off. It's called Stays On. It's can you just find a, it? any craft, craft store. store. Yep. Okay, yep. Stays On. Um, it's so easy to use. And what a beautiful little it's jar so to give pretty. for a gift. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, if somebody new just came to the neighborhood and you want to bring them cookies, cookies, mm -hmm. stack the cookies in here. Beautiful. <laughs> You like cookies, Somebody's maybe, maybe Rachel. Candies, <laughs> cookies. Um, this is so easy to use. You just do this. Okay. You know, just like Those any other stamp. Skin. Thanks, thanks. This is my new stamp line. That Available at Market Street Stamps. Market Street Stamps, which is also a Green Bay company. So um, you're going to want to clean the jar really good. Even with like rubbing alcohol would be best. Okay. And then you just start, and you push on that jar. That is adorable. And if it doesn't quite work the way that you want it the first time, before it dries, you can wipe it off. Okay. But once it you dries, have a moment. you do. You have, okay. you have probably a minute or two. Okay. Um, but once, once it, it dries, dries, it stays on. That's really cute. And we have one more quick idea. She has these hanging in her tree. Lanterns made from jars. So how easy so is this? So simple. And there's, you know, you have the two lids. You're going to just do this wire super tight and twist it so that it's tight enough that it's not going to fall off. You're going to take this top, go through this side again, okay. which you might need to use a pliers or something to pull it out a little and give yourself a little of that space. Pull it through and twist it and you have a little lantern wire pliers and jars jar. and then a little candle little votive in there hanging from the yep. tree and i even used some of the led votives so you don't have to run the risk of a fire because i forget to blow a candle sometimes okay. but she's thrifty perfect. and she's wise <laughs> thanks kim <laughs> great ideas <laughs> thank you isn't that crafty? If you want to follow more of Kim's ideas, you can check out her blog. We put a link on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin.